And die today. What is it I will tell you? Maybe I could share my pain. I hope it never fails you. Send down my son. Let me talk to you. Let your shadow be your best friend. On this race you run, you will fall as true. But please don't let it be the end Don't forget to breathe, take it easy Every scar that you have, it will slowly heal And that dopamine that you don't need Gonna turn your head to stone in a heartbeat If I was to die today What it is it I would tell you I could share my pain I hope it never fails you You say it's funny how the law Gives and takes joy With rain on a wedding day If I was to die today What is it I would tell you? Keep your brothers close When I'm just a ghost my bones are fading, time is running low There is something, gotta let you know Heaven's open and I'm gonna go If I was to die today What well, is it I would tell you Maybe I could share my pain I hope it never fails you it's funny how the love gives and takes Joy with rain on a wedding day If I was to die today What is it I would tell you? If I was to die today, what is it I would tell you? Maybe I could share my pain. I hope it never fails you. You say it's funny how the Lord gives and takes joy with rain on a wedding day. If I was to die today. What is it I would tell you? Still bold, he told me so I know Everything's gonna change And maybe I'm naive Just a young to see Distant memories I'm blind in me But she said Hurry up, hurry up Drive them off, drive them off We've got places to go Got places to go, oh my! Hurry up, hurry up! Drive them off, drive them off. We've got places to go. Be deep in the unknown. Mm. Breathe, 
you fully immerse Dry off those tears and start to rehearse Sweet lies, goodbyes, new life When dying, no Everything's gonna change and maybe I'm naive Just stay on the sea Distant memories I'm blind in me But she say Hurry up, hurry up <laughs> Drive them off, drive them off They got places to go They got places to go Oh my Hurry up, hurry up Drive them off, drive them off They got places to go in the unknown Places to go, my, 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 hurry up, hurry up, drive them off, drive them off, we got places to go, knee deep in the unknown. Changes a song, the circle of life, we rise and we fall. Don't be afraid, the love that we share will remain in the grave. Scars don't blind me, silver linings. I wear them proudly on my sleeve And they come from a past Full of broken glass And stains have turned a color and laced Cause you have to dance in the fire To know that it burns You have to fall in the river to wash out the day Blood Under the bridge Blood Under the bridge Every time I 
tie on my shoes I'm thinking of you And everything we've been through Even though It's me without you One thing remains true Our love will shine through Cause you have to dance In the fire To know that it burns You have to fall In the river To wash out the dirt Love under the bridge Love under the bridge You have to fall and get up Even though it may hurt You have to lose a little value To know what you're worth Love under the bridge Love Hey, I'm Bill DeVille. We're here with Abraham Alexander. So nice to meet you, Abraham. I've Thank been you. a fan of your music for a while now. Tell us about your new album, Seasons. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, Seasons is, uh, I, I, I feel like my coloring book in a sense. And, you know, uh, something that I never thought that would be possible for me. And just to, to have it out means a lot and, and and I'm excited for people to to hear it and and hopefully when they do they hear a kindred spirit within it and um, kind of helps them discover things within themselves and and makes them feel peace wonder joy um, but yeah it's a it's it's a book seasons is a book and the book's about my life the album seasons it says uh, the wordplay is C slash sons. Mm -hmm. And I, I saw the picture of the artwork. It's it's you and your brothers. Tell us about that. Yeah. So I was born in Athens, Greece mm -hmm. and lived there till I was 11 years old. And the last time that we were going to be in uh, the ocean or get to play in, in, in the waters, um, the moment was captured. And I saw that photo a few years ago and instantly I, I knew what I wanted my record to be and it was one that I get to talk about my upbringing in Greece and talk about um, just what it was like to to be a minority in the only country that I've ever known and to be an outsider in the only country that I've ever known but yet just knowing I was different but not knowing exactly why I was different and I, I wanted to honor my brothers uh, at that time, but also just pay homage to to home, and so sea, which is uh, the ocean, and the, and and being in Greece, and just the vastness of the ocean, and what that means, 
and also how significant the the spiritual sense of water means to me and then sons to to honor my brothers okay so you were born in greece Mm -hmm. but you were raised in fort worth texas yes how did you get from one point to the next so my parents were immigrants from nigeria Mm -hmm. and they immigrated from nigeria to greece and then greece had a lot of racial tension and just the economy was collapsing at the time and then my my parents applied for a lottery visa and got accepted by the U.S. And they thought Texas was the best place to raise a family in the U.S. And that's how we, we, we landed. And first it was Arlington, and then I went to college in Fort Worth, and that's how I ended there. And so you were, you were a soccer player then, right? Yes. Yeah, I was a... <laughs> I was a pretty good, I mean, I don't want to toot my horn, but I was pretty good. <laughs> you were pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty good. Uh, it, was, it was my love language. I loved, I, I loved playing the sport, especially when I didn't speak English. When I first came to the States, I know I doesn't sound... Well, you sound like, like a it. Texan to me. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate <laughs> it. But I didn't speak English at all. And yeah. uh, sports was a thing where I could communicate with people without necessarily having to verbalize anything. But the emotion and the spirit was there. Yeah, and then you were, did you, was it an ACL injury? Is Correct. that what it was? Yeah, it was an ACL injury and took me out. And uh, through that process, a guitar ended up on my lap. And it was as if someone gave me a pen for the first time. Really? Yeah, and I could write things that I didn't know I was feeling or um, express myself in ways that I never knew I could before. You know, it was like someone had told me to write things down years past and you know gave me boxes or gave me a ruler or gave me all these other things except for something that I could actually use to express myself and it was like growing a second or or third limb or whatever it was it was it was surreal it was like one of those moments where like the 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 light shines or the light bulb it it just made so much sense so you got proficient obviously quite fast on the guitar then huh yeah. Did you, you take lessons? Did you have a teacher? or did you just... YouTube videos. Really? Yeah, YouTube videos. All the wonders of the computer. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. I watch YouTube videos, and we'll watch, uh, we'll watch videos of this guy named Gary Clark Jr. Not this guy. He's he's Well, much. he's a legend in Austin, Texas, and not, he's not one of the great guitar players around, and he's more so much more than just a guitar player. Yeah, too. he's he's uh, yeah he's he's a legend, period, just within his artistry, within him as an individual, um, character, uh, leadership, and uh, he's, he's, his legacy is forever written as a player in like the time, you know, f- period. Just like he's, he's awesome. So I would watch videos of, of, of him and would try to emulate some of the things that he was doing. Uh, and yeah, just YouTube. Tell me about Leon Bridges. He was influential in your career, huh? He was. He he was the first person that kind of told me to try doing open mics. Really? And see see what that would get me. How did your paths cross? So I was going to visit a friend of mine, and I was at his apartment. He was running late, and I saw two people hauling musical amps into a building. And at the time, I did nothing around music, but I was just intrigued by anything musical. And some voice inside me told me like, hey, go see what they're doing. And I went to see what they were doing and there were uh, producers that were working on the Coming Home album. And they asked me if I could- Wonderful record, yeah. Incredible record. They asked me if I could sing. I said, no. They're like, can you hum? I said, yes. And that's how I wound, found my way into the session of Coming Home. So you're, you're in the liner notes. I no, I'm not. I'm 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 not in the liner notes. Uh, but I was in the sessions, uh, and and my my voice can be heard in some of the music that was played. Um, and yeah, it was it was a surreal moment. But we became quick friends, and he inspired me to start doing open mics. And one thing led to another, and um, I would write songs every every week and then would go perform them and then people would like it and I would keep playing it. Some people would say it sucked and I would scrap it. 
and that's how I got to build my catalog was doing open mics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I noticed you have a number of, of special guests on your album. Gary Clark is on your record. That yes. must have been an honor to have somebody who you admire to appear on your record. It's surreal and, and something that I don't take for granted whatsoever. You, you know, like not not only is he like we've shared just a, a legend in the, the spectrum of music, but um, just the significance of I, I wouldn't be playing if it wasn't for the inspiration that he gave me and that for that inspiration to continue on to him um you know featuring on my debut record and and kind of um gracing me uh with with that blessing is is surreal and forever grateful and you had who i like to call the voice of god in your record too mavis staples <laughs> May, hey look mavis staples her morgan freeman i'm sorry <laughs> Harry Morgan Freeman could go back and back. Yeah, they on, could. On, on they? <laughs> uh, how did how did you get her to be on your record? God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just I opened up for her in Austin back in 2021, and uh, she was super like gracious about my set, and um, just told me after the the show that hey, if I needed anything, to let her know and. Uh, already <clears throat> just kind of knowing the the power of the song that she's featured on called Deja Vu and just mm -hmm. knowing that, man, just her voice on that track would kind of take it to another stratosphere. And she delivered times 10. It's like the the power and the emotion that she invokes and ingests in, in within that track is is um, unearthly, is, is, is wild. And again to have those two juggernauts on the record is is surreal and something that you can't even pay with money to do yeah um and and i'm just grateful and i feel like that's just a sign for me to keep pursuing this you we, know we named our puppy mavis after let's mavis go Davis. let's go <laughs> hey she, yeah she I'm, i mean there's no words. It's Mavis Staples. It's Mavis Staples. Yeah. And you worked with Brad Cook on your record. I he's, did. He's from this neck of the woods, grew up in Eau Claire, just down the road, Eau Claire, yeah. Wisconsin. Yeah. What was it like working with Brad? I know he's a really fun guy. I know, I know he likes the NBA. You he probably does. know that, uh, too. So our first... It's <laughs> that's funny, because I forgot about this. Our first day to have a session, we spoke for maybe like two hours or so just kind of talking about music and just life in general. And I was thinking, cool, like we're about to jump on the session and work, but it was like, nah, we didn't. He's like, we're about to watch this NBA finals game. Yeah, that sounds about yeah, right. Yeah. And it was the Lakers playing. Well, that's his team. If I remember yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, it was amazing. He bought, uh, wings and that was kind of our, our first time, but it was beautiful because it just let me know that it's beyond music and, Sometimes you have to sit back and just let experience take over, and that's going to transition into the musicality. And it 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 did. You, you know, we didn't have to rush into anything. Um, we can just allow our relationship to grow, and for us to found a common ground in order for that to translate towards the music. And he's a he's a wizard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a wizard. So uh, another fellow Texan. Just turned 90 years of age, Willie Nelson. Has, has Willie had an impact on you at all? I think uh, that's a great question. I think Willie has had an impact on me, whether I feel it in, in, like personally or not. Like he is a voice of Texas music. Right. And um, the Luck Union is one of the biggest festivals in Texas. And that's at his backyard, mm -hmm. you know, and there's a, it's, it's a rite of passage for any Texas artist to play Luck Reunion, which ha happens in conjunction with South by Southwest. And so I didn't really grow up with Willie's music, mm -hmm. but I think the legacy and the stamp that he's put on music as a whole, and even more so Texas, um, has had an impact, and I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Willie and his legacy that yeah. he's he's paved. Do you hope to be making music at ninety? I hope to be doing anything at ninety, <laughs> <laughs> let alone music. Yeah, I, I, I mean that's that's the hand of God, you know. Um, and 
Willie, Hannah got a green. I don't know which one or the <laughs> other. But to to be doing music at 90 and uh, they're actually celebrating his 90th birthday at a festival in, in uh, I think, Hollywood Bowl. Hollywood Bowl today yeah. and tomorrow, yeah. And tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And the lineup is insane. Mm -hmm. Leon and Gary on there. And uh, to, like, you don't have the roster of artists that are on that lineup if your legacy is an impactful, like just genres of all kinds, blues, yeah. soul, mm -hmm. R&B, Snoop Dogg, rap, and like he's, he's, he's second to none. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, Abraham Alexander, so nice to chat with you. Likewise. Thank you so Congratulations much. Congratulations on the fine new album, Sea Suns. Thank you. Thank Excuse you. Excuse me. You. Seasons. Seasons. Yeah. There we go. I want to thank producer Derek Stevens, also engineer Evan Clark for making us sound good, and Christian Ankrum for making us look good. Thank yes. you. Nice chatting with you, sir. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. My blessing. The Current is public media made possible thanks to member support.